Back everybody. Well, tonight we know the 2020 election audit will continue later this month after it takes a pause next week. It comes as Senate Republicans are calling the County Board of Supervisors into a special hearing next week to answer questions about the audit. Political editor Dennis Welch is live with the latest. Yeah, and I just want to start by saying that auditors here are finishing up that count right now before that pause to allow those graduation ceremonies to take place here next week. Now, what that new lease will do, it will allow them to return here to Veterans Memorial Coliseum the following week and resume the counting. Ken Bennett expects to resume around May 24th, and they'll have this facility through the end of June. As for the county board and what they are going to do and whether or not they're going to appear before the Senate, we're still waiting to hear from them. And this all stems from last night when Senate President Karen Fan sent a letter to the board asking them to appear before a panel on Tuesday that will also include Senate liaison for the Senate, Ken Bennett. Now, in part, Fan and other Republicans want to ask the board about unverified claims regarding mishandled ballots and missing data files. And Fan once again declined our request for an interview, but uh, Supervisor Steve Gallardo, the lone Democrat on the county board, made it very clear he does not trust the Senate in this situation. This is a sham committee that goes along with the sham audit. This is, this is about uh, continuing the big lie. This isn't a standing committee. We have lawful standing senators that have not been included. We have Democrats that have not been included. This isn't a bipartisan review of our election. This is a one-sided sham review. Now, again, that was uh, Senator, uh, uh, former Senator and current Supervisor Steve Gallardo expressing, you know, his mistrust of appearing before the committee. Now, the county board is in executive session this afternoon. We're expecting a decision shortly on that. Now, as for what is going to happen tomorrow, uh, the auditors are going to be moving those ballots out of the Veterans Memorial Coliseum. They're going to move it across this parking lot behind me into the Wesley Boland building. Now, we'd like to be able to show you that building, but unfortunately, there's still a carnival, as you can see, right behind me. Now, I did take a look at it. Uh, this, the, the facility is about 20,000 square feet. It's mostly made of metal, and the county fairgrounds on their website recommends that it not be used from May through September because of the heat. In Phoenix, Dennis Welch, Arizona's family.